Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we just recruited the help of Crest, I believe his name was. Person hanging out up there in that huge crane. They're a tinker engineer of some sort, and they're gonna help us fix the train. I thought they were gonna actually follow me back to the train, but I, I guess they're just gonna find their own way so we don't have to worry about them. We just rappelled down from there to this building and heard that Anna has apparently gone off the grid, and everybody's a bit worried about them, so let's go try to find her. See if she's okay. I hear all sorts of horrible noises outside. Sounds like maybe mutants, watchers. Hinting to charge my flashlight. I guess it's probably pretty close to dead. Yeah, I'm just hearing all sorts of bad noises. I heard electricity earlier. Yeah, that thing. Mm-hmm. I have... Well, I have two medkits. That's good. God knows I go through them, take like one shot, and I need one of Well, there's all my assault rifle ammo. Can't loot these, right? No, they don't they don't really have any pockets. I've already been in here, so there's nothing new to loot. Yeah, let's just get out of here. You're deep into the night. I thought maybe it wouldn't get very dark, but I guess I was just in a kind of twilight for a while, because it really does get dark. I mean, you know, like video game movie dark. Obviously real night time would be way darker than this. I think that's my large friend out there. Oh yeah, there's there's mutants over there. I really don't want to mess with them. Uh, where are we heading? Looking at the thing on my wrist. That way. Shit, watchers. Where's that anomaly going? They have a pretty big range. <sighs> Radiation's okay. I think we just go off the sound. Wait, am I taking damage? So I guess yellow radiation is not okay. It means you take damage. Anything that's not green is taking damage. Good to know. Oh god. Oh, that's awfully close. It's going up the hill. Oh, it's pointing me. Oh, that's a little building. Oh, hey. Oh, that's probably the military base place that uh, Crest mentioned in one of the tapes. So there's a bunch of chemicals down there. Ooh, I want to check that out. 
Uh, but first, let's go rest just to get our health back. And yeah, this seems to be where it's point. Is it just leading me in a circle? Like, what's going on? This tower? I think it's that tower. But first, heal. Take a nice drink. I love all the details like this, all the fiddly stuff you have to do. I guess some people probably find it annoying, but I love it. Take on and off your gas mask, and sit down and have a drink, and repair your stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, wait, when did I get ammo for- oh, no, this is the uh, pneumatic gun, not the assault rifle. Let me see if I have some shotgun rounds. I do, so I'm better off with this weapon. Man, I desperately need crafting ingredients, huh? I can just barely make another 30 assault rifle ammo. Should I do that? Make more shotgun? Hmm. Let's go with the shotgun. I'll try this dirty gun out. It's very dirty, it's probably gonna jam. Okay, Anna, are you here? Oh, Anna's probably underneath, right? Hey, what's this? Oh, Jesus! I guess they fell too and didn't get their mask on fast enough. Well, I did want to explore this place. I guess we have to. <laughs> Lots of spiders. Looks like they're scared of the light. Doesn't seem very safe to hold an open flame next to a bunch of weird radioactive chemicals. Oh yeah, I'm on a timer, right? Yeah, this whole place of course is filled with chemicals, so I shouldn't dawdle too much. Oh, god damn it. I don't think that hurts or anything, it's just creepy. Wait, uh... There's an image on there that shows like a broken lock. Does that mean I can break it? Oh, cool. Oh, beautiful. Unfortunately, I have almost no ammo for it, but, uh... Well, you know what? Let's just get rid of the pistol, then. Yeah, now I got two things I can use. Waterlogged note. What are they... What are they even thinking just bringing all this shit here? It's gotta be disposed of properly. Fucking crooks in the disposal, splitting the funds with the generals. Well, we get to park our asses on decades-old shit. I wonder if it gets worse or better when it expires. And which would be, would be better for us? The barrels sure look like they could start leaking any moment now. We'll need to requisition a spare protective suit. I wonder if I can find that suit. Be awfully handy. I guess it's just a bunny in a really weird... 
orientation, but it's a really weird orientation. It looked like a monster. Oh yeah, they, they definitely saw. Had my light out. Actually, we might be... No, 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 we're not okay. Wow, that went right in the crotch. Oh, you can take the mushrooms! has weird chemicals to clean your weapons and stuff with. That's cool. Uh, how are we doing on... We have three minutes in total of filter time. That's not good. They heard that. Oh, doggy. I want that mushroom. Can I get that mushroom without falling into that nasty pit? I guess not. Not worth it. Man, my mask is all fucked up. Yeah, I can't really afford to be stealthy here. Doesn't hurt to throw a couple knives, though. I could just get it back anyway. Although, somehow, I seem to have managed to lose a bunch of them because I only have one left. I started with three. What happened to them? There might be a random chance that they just, like, break or you can't recover them or something, or maybe I just forgot to recover them. Two shots of this thing left. Three minutes of air time. Hello! <laughs> Creeper. I do have some Molotovs, by the way. I should re keep that in mind. Okay, we got a bunch of filters. Oh, burn this stuff. Ew. See, they like to eat rabbits, don't they? Ooh, there's one of my knives. I know I've been here before. Oh. They died recently. One, one bullet. Gee, thanks. What's this gonna do? Oh, I'm jacking in to give it some power. That's cool. That's really neat. Getting some lights. I don't think the creatures like that. Oh, that actually might make them run away. I think they might be scared of the light, or they're just coming for me. It's very possible. Yeah, they're just coming for me.
Mm, about four and a half minutes of airtime. We're good. So can I just, like, turn these off, or...? Nah, let's turn them on. Some bullets, there we go. Что это за место вообще? Видишь бочки? Химия какая-то. Склад, ну или как это, могильный. А Майку, может, местные повесили, чтобы подальше Спасибо, не ураться? Родной. Ладно, так. Ну что, Артем, хватаем и понесли? Еще чего? Я сама. Сама пойду. Отсижусь пару минуток и двину. Старику уже, наверное, крышу рвет. Представляешь, с его доченькой что-то приключилось. <как> Папа, это я. У меня батарея в рации сдохла, промочила ее. А так все в норме. Артем и ребята тут. Честно, беги, лучше помоги Степану отца моего уговорить. Это он про Катю с Настей. Тёма, правда, мне лучше. Все нормально. Headpack. Do I actually want to, though, or do I want to explore? I mean, I... I think I pretty much have to go across the train to get to all those areas that I sighted with the binoculars, so I might as well go back. I'm sure it's not the end of this place. I'm sure they'll make it pretty clear when you're actually going to leave and won't be able to come back. Yeah, all right. Oh, right. The resting place is super close. Let's go rest real quick, get our health back. And you know what? I feel like I've been out at night enough to see how creepy it is. Let's actually sleep till the day. Ah, yes, I was, I was hoping there'd be a sequence like this. Let's see what we can do with this Kalishnikov. It's awfully dirty. Yeah, its condition is just about two. That take 21 to clean it, which is a pretty hefty cost, but... I don't know, maybe its accuracy and rate of fire and all that stuff is good compared to... Like, let's compare it to this thing. This thing fully... fully repaired compared to this. Hmm. I mean, they're somewhat similar. I think these white parts are what are going to be filled once I clean it. So it looks like the rate of fire is the same once cleaned, and the accuracy is lower once cleaned, but that that probably has to do with the attachments. Let's check the attachments. Standard or light. Might as well go with the increased stability. Yeah. Only one, only one. Small magazine or magazine. 
Um, so this sacrifices a very, very small amount of stability for a bigger magazine. I definitely value a bigger magazine a lot. Yeah, so we don't really have any attachments for the most part to put on this thing. So as it is, I don't think it's worth repairing to make it a replacement for this. Not until we get more attachments for it, because this thing's pretty kitted out. It's got a scope, and it's got a red laser. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Let's do a couple more things here, too. Uh, let's repair a gas mask. I think I always want to keep that at 100%, pretty much. I mean, that affects your entire vision, so you really don't want that getting all messed up. Here we go. Nothing else to repair, just things you can switch between if I had things to switch to, which I don't. Two medkits is fine. Four minutes of filters. I think that's fine. I probably should make some more ammo. Uh, I do want to make some more throwing knives, too. Surprisingly expensive. Ten crafting things for just one knife. I guess I should be more careful with them? Um, maybe it, that's not important, actually. I think I'll make more ammo. Yeah, more assault rifle ammo. Okay. I think that's good. I love that whole animation of like closing up your pack and taking everything with you. So I don't actually want to use this thing, so let's switch back to this, even though I don't have any ammo for it at the moment. Do I still have my ammo? Yeah, right? 25 plus 21, and then if I switch to this... Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure you don't, like, leave the ammo in the gun when you switch. You don't. Which is good. It looks so different when it's daytime. So much more inviting. Just gorgeous. Oh, right, and I have binoculars now. Ooh, they make everything look sepia. Um, right, back to the train. See if I can convince Miller to let the the medic and their uh, their kid on board. Ooh, let's take a little bit of a different way back. Let's go through this boat. It looks like we might be able to. Kinda, maybe? <laughs> come on, come on. Don't go in the water. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's gotta be something on board, right? Something other than tetanus? Yeah. Oh, hi. Do they come out of the water? I don't think they've really attacked me so far, other than that one time in that cutscene when I was on the boat. Oh, oh right, and spitting acid. Yep, that was a thing too. Molotov. Um, yeah, what is this? Ah, it's the SMG thing that uses pistol ammo. Hmm, no thanks. I will strip that for parts, though. Thank you. Oh, stripping that for parts. I, I thought maybe that was giving me crafting ingredients. It's not. It's giving me the attachments to use on other stuff. I see. Yeah, keep spitting acid, I don't care. As long as I keep moving, I'll be fine. Oh, that one's there. Just- oh, fuck. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I have no fucking clue where I am. Oh, here. Oh, that's not where I wanted to be. Shit. Mm. Mm. Can you get in here? I don't think so? No, they're too big. Whew. Mm. That's 
it's a Kalishnikov with a bunch of attachments. That might be just what I need to make the Kalishnikov good. Let's do it this way. I'll have both of the guns, replace the shotgun with my other one. So, ooh, this one has a lot better damage. Five versus three, that's pretty huge. Better accuracy, much worse stability. Basically the same rate of fire in magazine. That damage is a huge difference though. This is much more accurate and much does much more damage, which means I'm gonna get more use out of my rounds, which is important because obviously there aren't many rounds to go around, pun intended. Any other things I'd want to change? Oh, this is a suppressor. That's why it's lowering the damage. So I can make the damage go up a little bit with that. That doesn't change anything. Meh, I don't think I want to use it. I'm going to strip it for parts. Time to run. Oh, water. Uh, can I get out this way? Okay, we're fine. I'm trying to test out if putting your weapon down by holding down H makes you sprint faster. Let's see. So, normal sprint. Hold down H. Uh, I can't tell. I don't think so. Okay, Miller. I gotta gotta yell at you some. Artyom, выручай. Старик уперся, не хочет брать Катю с малой. Yep, don't worry. I'm on it. Oh God, they're convinced they're having to go back now. No, 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 no. Gonna fix this. Добро пожаловать в экипаж. Спасибо. Не подведу. Привет, Артюк! Видишь, как все срослось? Артём, подойди. Садись. Артём, у нас появилась возможность перебраться через мост без шторма. По реке регулярно ходят караваны, мостовики с ними торгуют. Под видом торговцев мы скрытно проникаем к ним и опускаем секцию моста. По словам Кати, механизм в порядке. Сработаем быстро, и мостовики нас не остановят. А если попытаются, мы переправимся в любом случае, чтобы эти мракобесы там себе не думали. Хотят крови, получат. Остается только дождаться посудину торговцев. Товарищ полковник, ну как мы их тут-то бросим? Сожрут ведь, Степан, ты голову пробовал включать. Ты знаешь, куда мы едем, знаешь, что по дороге будет. И куда Степа мы их во вроде втиснем, на ящиках с углем спать. Но мы-то ладно, по-спартански. Но женщину, да еще с девчонкой шестилетней. Как тут разместить? Да я свой матрас отдам, а сам в кочегарке. А, отдохнешь на все стои. На первом же дежурстве тебя сонного вражеский диверсант зарежет. Все равно нельзя их оставлять. Так давайте достанем тот вагон, о котором Катя говорит. Ну не можем же мы ребенка тут бросить. Да и вообще, сколько можно в проходах валетом спать? Ай, ты явилась. Как? Как мы его достанем? Аврору я туда не погоню. Тут и думать нечего. И не надо Аврору. У меня в терминале дрезина припрятана. Ей вагон тащить, что два пальца в асфальт. Сейчас мы с Артемом за ней смотаемся и пригоним. Христа не пущу. Мы в четыре руки до утра с ремонтом проводимся. А теперь я вообще ничего не гарантирую. Ладно, черт с вами, со всеми. 
Хватит из меня чудовище лепить. Если вагон добудете, возьмем гражданских на борт. Артем, займешься? Of course. Ну, Артем, заметим караван, бросай все. Прорваться через мост основное, сам знаешь. И этот шанс я не упущу. Спасибо, папа. Так и быть, обещаю подумать о внуках. Держи, Артем, это от резины предохранитель, без него не поедет. Машинка надежная, зуб даю. Мы с ней почти полмира, из конца в конец. Товару перевезли, Ух, страшное дело. Из стальки передряг меня вытащило. Но, Артемыч, раз уж ты один, получается, в терминал идешь, слушай. Путь не близкий, а... Что хочу сказать-то? Если по темноте отправишься, меньше шанс на бандюков напороться. Они тогда по нычкам своим греются. Но ночью тоже не того, того, не прогулка будет. И зверья много вылазит, и молнии там шаровые местами. Их святоши за демонов электрических держат. Так что ты покумекай сам, когда лучше выдвигаться. Артем, я в тот район князя в дозор отправил за мостом наблюдать. Связь там не важна, одни помехи. В общем, если встретишь его, получишь последние данные по окрестностям терминала. Сани и Степаном сговорились, небось. Да я за этих двоих не меньше вашего переживаю. Просто не факт, что здешние святоши хуже того, что нас ждет впереди. А, ну ладно уж. Окей, okay, I guess I know everything I need to know. Молодцы, что батю уломали. Thanks. Ну, Артём, как тебе моя мастерская? Наконец я все обустроил, как планировал. Нормальный верстак. И ящики под все инструменты и oh, все остальное. Можешь тут оружие чистить и патроны набивать. Ну, в общем, как на любом верстаке, это понятно. А вот такой оружейки, как у меня, нигде нет. Как ты ствол какой найдешь, я образец раз и на полочку. А потом, если понадобится, выдам в лучшем виде. Чистенький, смазанный. Как новенький, в общем. Обвес потом сам установишь. Я из вас всех настоящих мастеров сделаю, так что учитесь оружейному делу настоящим образом. Слушай, Артем, тут такое дело. Я для тихаря кое-что сделал. Попробую установить. Верстак свободен. Ну, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued about a lot of things I just said. But first, let's see what this attachment is. I think we might have a bunch of new stuff. Standard pneumatic or airtight? So this, the airtight pneumatic system works pretty much as standard, but doesn't lose air if the pressure is above normal. Oh, so it holds more air, basically. Practically speaking, just because, you know... Chances are you're going to lose air before you actually end up shooting anything when it's overpressured. Well, that's awesome. What about this rotor magazine? Cylindric magazine that can hold 18 steel balls or 6 capsules. What's a capsule? Is that like a shotgun blast, basically? Uh, stability goes down by a little bit. Magazine goes up. Let's go with the bigger magazine, yeah. Oh, look at... I love the attention to detail. Look at all the welding here. That's really cool. Some scrapes and scratches and dents on it. So lovingly crafted. And what's... What's that? The gun itself? Not sure why it says that... It said that was new. That was marked as like, Whoa, check it out! Anyway, this thing just got a lot better. So a couple things I want to mention. We're gonna go try to find a carriage to hook up to the the uh, train car, I think. So we have some more room for people to sleep and and live in this place, because this one train car is obviously super cramped, even for the amount of people we already have, let alone more. I was thinking that we might do something like that. I was thinking we would have to do something like that, especially if we pick up more people, and we're gonna do it. So that's pretty cool. And they said that bandits will be out during the day, and at night we'll instead have more monsters and those electrical anomalies. So it's kind of like choose which one you want. I feel like the people might be better, maybe? They're probably more dangerous, but I I feel like the advantage would be that they drop loot, right? So you can get ammo from them. Monsters don't drop anything, they're just ammo sinks. 
but I'm sure it's not just that simple. There's got to be more to it. Also, any weapon we find, we can pick up a pristine version of it here. I think... I think I saw where to do that, too. I think that's that new weird option. So this special gun here, it's, well, special. I don't think you can switch it out. That's why there's only the one here. Maybe you'll get some more special ones later, but these two, it looks like you can switch them out. Uh, gotta hold down E to actually replace it, but there's the revolver, kalosh, a shot. I don't actually know what they are by name. The bastard, that's, yeah, that's the SMG thing. The a shot, that's, oh, that's like the shotgun pistol. What's the description for that, actually? This pistol, mass-produced in the Metro, is, despite being quite primitive, a powerful and reliable weapon that shines in close combat. Yeah, that's not really a pistol. That's more of a shotgun. Kalosh is what we just had. And this would be our, like, silenced... thing that we've been using, or is it? I don't know. I guess it has a million mods placed on it. The version that we were using. Probably all sorts of fancy stocks and stuff, I don't know. Three-shot cylinder? Oh yeah, this is it. It was just a super souped-up revolver that we had as like a, a stealth weapon before. Stealth gun. So I noticed that the Kalishnikov is not here. So I think you have to bring the weapon back to here to basically like register it. I don't know, the whole system, it makes sense from, like, a gameplay kind of perspective. In-universe, though, it doesn't make any sense. Like, the person gets a copy of your gun. Like, when you bring one back, they 3D scan it, and then they just, like, 3D print you more guns on demand or something. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. But it's fine, I understand that it... It's pretty much the only way this system really works. I think what it boils down to is, whenever you're going to set off for a big mission and be out there for a while, and you're at the train, just grab weapons customized for what you want to do. Uh, ones that are, you know, brand new and all fixed up, as all of them are, I think, if you switch to them. From here, they should be all brand new. So do that, but then, of course, once you're out in the wild, you're going to have different types of weapons you might want to use, because you run out, of, run out of one type of ammo, or you find a better one, or something like that. So kind of just scavenge and use whatever you can find out there. And if there's an entirely new type of weapon that you want to use in the future, make sure to bring it back at some point so that you can use it in the future. I think that's what it boils down to. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Seems to have gotten very windy. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, it looks like our main mission is to go all the way to the east to try to get that carriage Wow, the storm's really picking up. Holy crap. But, uh, I think I'm gonna stop pretty much everywhere along the way. All those question marks and anything else we can find. God, this storm is so cool looking. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.